I'm a huge fan of open world games. It's one of my favorite things to do to set out into an interesting world, to roam a digital landscape, exploring forests, mountains, and caves, just to see what's there. But these games can be intimidatingly huge and take a lot of investment and time to complete. But there are several really charming smaller open world games that give you that same feeling of excitement that you can play through in just a couple of hours. So in this video, I'll run through four pocket-sized open worlds that'll scratch that open world adventure itch without taking months and months to complete. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment. This is a small channel, so all of that helps it to grow. And there's also a Patreon to support the channel that I'll tell you about at the end of the video. But with that said, let's get started with perhaps the most beloved mini open world of them all. And that is, of course, a short hike. A Short Hike is a 2019 solo dev project by Adam Robinson Yu. It has a sunny soundtrack by Mark Sparling, and it was started as an intentionally small side project while Adam was making a bigger RPG, but the game took on a life of its own, going on to win the Seamus McNally Grand Prize at IGF, and it became a huge indie hit. In this game we play as a bird called Claire, who goes on an island vacation to Hawk Peak Provincial Park. When she realises that there's no phone signal at the cabin, she sets out on a big adventure to climb Hawk Peak and make an important call. It's a super cute premise and getting up the mountain is really, really fun. We find feathers along the way that let us climb higher and glide for longer. We find money to buy power-ups and clothing. And we meet a wonderful cast of characters, like a climber who's afraid of heights, a painter seeking inspiration in the views, just a variety of charming island dwellers, all packed with personality. The game captures a sunny summer holiday kind of feeling. It's really relaxing to play. We're with Claire every step of the way as she goes on this bold adventure to the mountain peak and the finale is just wonderful. You can complete the game in just an hour, but there are loads of fun side quests and content has been added over time. So I recommend taking your time with this one to soak in this lovely little world as you embark on a short hike. A couple of the other games on this list were definitely influenced by a short hike, but they all have their own personality. Alba, a wildlife adventure, is another game that takes place on a sunny island. It's a 2021 game by Us2, and this time we get a 3D open world to explore. Alba is a kid who's visiting her grandparents for the summer. She arrives on the dock, and straight away we get introduced to several fun gameplay mechanics, like photographing wildlife and slowly filling up a notebook, picking up trash on the beach and helping to clean up the island, and getting a toolkit to help repair fences and benches. I think this game is lovely to look at, and it has a generally childlike and cheerful kind of mood, but also an eco story about a resort that is threatening the island's nature preserve. It's a simple game and it's really well put together. You can play through it in just a couple of hours on all of the consoles and on Steam. That's Alba, a wildlife adventure. <laughs> Another small game that will charm you instantly is Lil Gator Game, a 2022 game by Playtonic. This time we play as a young crocodile who is trying to persuade his studious grown-up sister to play games like they used to on the summer holidays. This one involves exploring a series of small islands, gliding and scrambling and climbing around, finding all of the kids who are scattered around and roping them into the master plan of making this giant RPG game. The problem is they're all doing their own thing, whether that's hanging out, being all cool, or doing extracurricular schoolwork, catching bugs, or having picnics, or lurking in the shade. We do small tasks for them, and they join in the game to help the young croc make his masterwork. The story payoff in this one is delightful, and there are lots of collectibles for completionists. Um, there's no map in this game, but I somehow never felt lost. It's very, very slick and playable, and it wears its short hike and Breath of the Wild influences on its sleeve. If you like both of those games, you'll love this one. That's the lovely, charming, very manageable Lil Gator game. The last game on this list is perhaps the most obscure, but Paradise Marsh is absolutely worth your time. It's a really odd little game by a solo developer called Lazy Etty, and I mean odd in the best possible way. It's a freewheeling first-person exploration game in which we explore a colorful, lo-fi swamp in a world where the stars have fallen from the sky. It's a mysterious beginning, but the game is really easy to get into. We jump, dash, and swim around the procedurally generated swamp, catching bugs along the way. And all of these bugs have their own behaviors, so you have to figure out how to catch them. 
you might have to creep up slowly, or catch them at a certain time of the day or night, or take flying leaps to grab them before they can fly away. And as we fill out the codex, the stars start returning, resulting in a lovely second part of this game that involves slowly lighting up the night sky and talking to the constellations that we're making. It's a really strange and beautiful idea that really captured my imagination and it's helped along with a stunning soundtrack by Disaster Peace, who did the soundtracks for games like Fez and Hyperlight Drifter. This whole game just felt like a beautiful summertime dream, and if that sounds fun to you, then go for a wander through the Paradise Marsh. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found a game that you might want to try out. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like, it helps other people to see it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, and you can subscribe for more videos like this. There is also a Patreon that you can join to support this channel, join the patron-only Discord and get bonus material. Thanks very much for watching, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you on the next one.